हेलो एवरी वन ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज़ निर्भय चौहान फॉर मेक लव या सेल्फ लर्निंग टूटोरियल्स विल गाइज टूडे विल बी टचिंग अपॉन अ वेरी पॉपुलर डिमांड टॉपिक इन रिगार्ड्स टू द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ डोर्स एंड विंडोज लाइक आई हैव सीन एंड आई हैव हर्ड लाइक फ्राम द यूजर रिक्वेस्ट लाइक देर आर मैनी इशूज वैन दे आर प्लेसिंग द डोर्स एंड विंडोज लाइक दे आर नॉट प्रॉपरली प्लेसड सो आई जस्ट ट्राई टू रिप्रोड्यूस दोज इशूज एंड देन आई विल टेल यू वट इज़ अ राइट अप्रोच बेसिकली इन साइड फ्री कैड so let's say uh, we are trying to place a door so these are your walls right inside your bim model and uh, you click on a door object right and then you basically define some properties here uh, the width is let's say 3 feet height is 7 feet 6 so you go to your particular wall basically and then you just try to let's say click on it like this so what happens it basically creates a slight hole and if you see in the top view your window is there but it's not at the right location right so this is one issue another issue here is uh, basically so let's say user is basically in the right working plane let's say they clicked on this particular wall and then they click on this option to switch the working plane and now they're in the right working plane basically and now they basically try to place a door uh like this and this is a second issue in this a cut is basically created in the another nearby wall as well right so these are like very famous issues i should say in regards to windows and doors placement so i'll just quickly tell you what is the right approach exactly that we can place basically place these doors so coming to the first issue basically in which you remember the hole was created and it was not placed in the right way the very primary thing there is that we were not in the right working plane so if you remember like this was some kind of working plane right so whenever you are placing a door and a window just make sure as a bet best practice you should be always placing it on the desired working plane which is mapped to that particular fall object so now let's say for instance this is the face of the object in on which i want my doors and window to be placed so i'll click on this face and then i'll click on this option to switch and my current working plane i click on this and you can see my grid is lined to this if in case you want to see this grid this is an option here you can click on this and re click on this again you can switch on and off between your grid object now basically i will select my door object here right i will define the desired properties and then i will just try to place here okay and now what you will see this is placed perfectly fine right it's not oddly placed so this is the resolution of your first issue i will go into more detail like how you can control the bottom placement right on the edge so i'll be coming there now the second issue basically so now we are with the right working plane right in this wall face only we want to place the door but if you remember it was cutting the other walls as well right so what you do in that case let's say i click on this door object again right and now i just try to place here so this is cutting my other wall as well so to resolve this basically go to this door object there is a property inside data tab which is basically the hole depth which is zero currently so you can see a tool tip here the depth of the hole that is window makes in its host object if zero the value will be calculated automatically currently this is zero but usually what happens uh it might not calculate exactly in a appropriate manner so you can just adjust and mention the value manually here so my wall is basically if i go to my wall object it's 4 inches thick wall right So what I will just simply do is, I'll go to the particular door, and inside the hole depth, I can give four inches, nine inches. Like it should not basically be that much, or it should touch your other wall object. It's ideally to give as per the wall only. Let's say this is four inches, right? And now your issue is perfectly resolved. You have got a nicely placed door object, right? Uh, so this is. the scenario 
now we will look around how you can exactly place your doors and windows at appropriate location so these were the two major issues right which usually users face in terms of placing the doors and windows and lot of messes there right they do a lot of readjustment so this is a kind of very simple approach right this is something as a best practice you have to follow now come into the right locations of placing your doors and windows so let's say i switch to this wall i have switched to this working plane now basically i want my doors and windows to be placed along this edge at certain location uh the first step approach is basically uh if i just show you i'll click on this door object i want it to be along my edge here right you can see my end point constraint is switched on right i can switch it off now it won't take it automatically but i want it to be constrained with this line the bottom edge of the wall so for that you have a constraint here which is snap near right i click on this and now you can see on right hand side the point placement you will see the x placement is not changing it's only the y right because this is the y direction so this is how basically you can take control of your placement so this is snapping near so i'll just place my door like this let's say and it's perfectly placed at the bottom edge of that wall right you can see the cut so now what will basically say is if in case you have a desire or a requirement to place your doors and windows at accurate dimensions right so for that purpose what you can do is let's say i'll place on this behind wall so for that purpose uh, what kind of reference you can do here is if you have this sketch original sketch of this wall right guys i'll open this right and then i will basically place my reference points here so for that purpose what i can do is you have this point object here i will place one point here one point here for window and another point here okay there is some constraint done automatically here which i don't want which is this constraint i'll just delete this now you can basically give dimensions to this point objects uh, in terms of reference to the edges like this is the one so this can be like around 5 uh, feet okay this window sorry so so these two points and then dimension for the windows this is something around let's say 8 feet i can give and then for this last point for this door object let me just give a dimension from the same reference point only let this be 14 feet cool i'll escape my sketch from here right now what you can see here is i will just enable the visibility of the sketch from the space bar and you can see your points started showing here right what you can do basically now here is uh we are at the right working plane right i'll click on my door object again um uh, my properties are being set here and i'll simply go here with my end point snapping on right and here you can see you can switch it from here basically and here you can see it is automatically fetching that location that point i'll click on this and my door is placed at the right location at the accurate location now let's say i want to place another door at this particular point but in this case let me say i want to give a sill height as well which is let's say 1 feet okay and you can see it's automatically going above from that point so i click on this point object by snapping it but my door will will be placed 1 feet above right similarly let me just try to place a window so this let's let it be a fixed window okay and uh, height is fine let's say the sill height i want to give here is let's say 3 feet right and i snap on this point you can see the window is placed above that particular location right guys so these are the approaches uh, basically with which you can place your 
doors and windows accurately right so i hope uh, you guys find this video helpful uh, in case that is the case like the video and let me know with your comments if this these approaches uh, solve the primary use case like how to place the windows and door objects in your projects do subscribe our channel right guys that really motivates there's a coffee link as well so see you in some other video guys till then take care goodbye and thank you so much